Hey guys, how's it going? It's another episode of Massey Art Studio. Yes. So it's oh, episode. I know. Off the cuff, whatever. Off the cuff. That's how we are. Yes. So it's episode number seventeen, and yes. it is Wednesday. Happy Hump Day. Happy Hump Day. Yes. I hope everybody's doing well within their week. And uh, today I will be doing a Saramac inspired ribbon pour. Ooh. I hope it doesn't come out like a river pour, but I'm hoping for a ribbon pour. And if anyone doesn't know what ribbon pour is, it is like this one just here. Right above my head. Yes. Which we did in a couple of episodes back. Yes. But you're going to be using some really unusual colours. Well, I am. They're unusual, but I am. Uh, they're very muted, but I think they're going to make a strong statement together. And uh, you're going to see whenever I introduce the colours. So. Right. I'd like to see in. how this works. Yeah. What are you doing? I am going to be doing a dustpan ball. <laughs> and I got a brand new dustpan. You do. Which is bigger and thicker than the last one. Yes. So I can hold more paint in it. Yes. Which I'm really excited about. Yes. So yeah, the old trusty dustpan, which is also set on that is also coming out. Yes. And I will be using the dustpan. Thank you to everyone that has voted on episode 15, which was yes. who did it better. Yep. You won. I mean, it was a landslide. Like, wasn't even close this time around, guys. And and I have a feeling from some of the comments that I that I messed up my entry into who did it better with my bams. Yeah, a bam is a very sensitive thing. It, it is. takes very bam-like slight bams. It did. I over bammed apparently. <laughs> So, um, bam, bam. I did bam bam, I did mini bams even as well at one point. So yeah, I, I take on board all the comments, uh, I am not crushed or defeated in any way, it is now two to one in terms of who did it better. I will be coming back strong in episode 20, so watch this space. Um, do, do you know how many subscribers we have right now? Uh, 900 and... Well, yeah, definitely. Right this minute, at the time of filming, we are teetering on the borderlines of 900. So please, everyone, who, if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, it doesn't cost you a bean to, to subscribe to the channel, but it actually really helps us emotionally, and um, it increases our endorphins during the course of the day as we're seeing you guys hit that subscribe button. Um, and we're just, we're just having a lot of fun, so it kind of validates the fact that we're doing something that people are, that people interested. are like interested. Yeah. So please subscribe, please like, and please comment. And don't forget, even though we're not wearing our pins, I know because I we still have them. Uh, we still have some left. Um, we have a thousand of them, and uh, there's a big portion of them that have already gone. Yeah. So thank you to everyone that sent the emails. Um, you can follow the instructions in the previous video on how to get hold of a pin. Um, we'll flash up all the details up here in the corner for you guys. Um, but please go grab yourself a bit of the Massey Art Studio as well. Yes, absolutely. Please do. That's it. That's it? Yeah. All right, let's get to painting. Let's get to painting. Hey guys, it's Jeremy. Um, I just wanted to say that I already flooded my canvas. You've seen me do that a million times. So we're going to get right into the colors and then I'm going to start layering my cups. I am doing a ribbon pour, which is going to start at one end and I'm going to layer the paints back and forth and you'll see what I'm talking about as I do it. And hopefully it will come out beautiful. It will definitely come out beautiful. You've never done a ribbon pour before. I've never done a ribbon pour before and I'm like, <laughs> so. This is, uh, my base coat was Titanium White by Golden and the Satin Enamels by Pure Deco. White by Deco Art. And I also am using Prussian Blue by Golden. Oh my gosh, this stuff is so beautiful. Um, next, I'm using a color that is kind of controversial. Um, it is a pearl deep brown by Arteza. And why is it controversial? Because I've, it's been called poop. Shimmery before. poop. Shimmery poop. But I love it. Um, and then we have Arteza Gold. 
We have Liquitex Basics Mars Black. Which is like a lovely deep, deep brownie black. Yeah, it's yeah. really cool. Um, and then we have Deco Art Crafters Acrylic Antique White. You guys are thinking, what am I doing? We've never used the Crafters Acrylic before, but mm -mm. we're just gonna see yeah. how it goes. And then we have Folk Art Acrylic Aviary Blue. And this is such a beautiful blue. I wish you guys could see this. It's like such a light blue. It's so delicate. It's almost like duck egg. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yes, it's, yeah, it's almost like a robin's egg blue. It's so pretty. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get to layering my cups. How many cups are you gonna do? I'm doing three cups. Okay. And you're gonna layer them yes. all together? Yes, I am gonna layer them all together. But what I'm doing is I'm pouring a lot of white and then I'm doing light ribbons of the color on top of the white, then more white, uh, a big, a nice layer of white, mm -hmm. and then more ribbons mm -hmm. of the different colors, then white on top. Okay. Cup one, very delicately put it there. All right, guys, I got my two cups totally poured and ready to go. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and get this pouring on. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Oh, jeez. This is hard. Now I will be stretching this some. Turn my cup this away. And ever so slightly. Whoops. I just touched my cup to the. The colors are really awesome. Running out of paint. Yeah, I was really interested in those colors. I was very much just like. Should we make soup another half a cup? No. You sure? Yep. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for this, I can't even tell you. All right, so 
I'm gonna torch it real quick and then I'm going to stretch it a little bit inward like this back and forth very gently and then I'm gonna stretch it off the sides. So let's go ahead and torch. Get these bubbles out. I think I was so nervous doing it that I just kind of either went too fast or I poured too quickly on the edges. There we go. All right. So I'm going to start tilting. Oh, this way. Towards the center. Come back. Oh, jeez. Canvases are heavy whenever you have paint on them. <laughs> okay. Come this way first, was it? I'm wanting it to come off of that end some. All right. Now I want to go this way with it. Stretching the lines all opening up. Yeah. And boom. Okay. Woo! Oh my gosh. I'm I'm loving it. I don't know, like the blues and mixed with the browns and just the golds that are in there. This thing is going to glisten whenever it's dry and I couldn't be more excited about it. There's a spot right here. I'm gonna go ahead and see. Mm -hmm. I think there's something under the paint there. Um, could you hand me a, uh, could you hand me a tissue please? Sir? A tissue? A tissue please. Yes. I just wanna wipe my hands before I start putting my hands over the painting because the last thing I wanna do is- Drip on it. Put a big drip on it. Put a drip on it. All right. It is like a river. It's like a river runs through it. Oh, perfect. It's doing exactly what I wanted. Mm -hmm. Yay. Okay, perfect. Plus, the more you stretch, the more those lines will open up too. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I think that's really good because I don't want to lose yeah. any more of the... Diagonal stripes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I think that made it look a lot better because stretching at that time because it opened up the white a little bit more. Right. Every time you move it, it kind and of looks like a different picture again. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really loving this piece. It's going to be beautiful when it dries. I'm like, what do you think, you guys? Whoops. Yeah. I'm going to throw paint all over this, all over this canvas. Um, all right. All right, guys. Um, You're going to torch. We're going to clean gonna... the edges and take them in for a close up. Absolutely. Let's do it. After I wipe my hands. <laughs> because they're dripping. Paper towel, please.
Okay, uh, it's Lee here. Now it's my turn. You've just seen Jeremy ribbon pour a beautiful canvas. Um, and it looks amazing as it's sitting drying. Now it's my turn. Um, and as I said earlier, I'm gonna use the dustpan. So you know our shtick, and that is that I'm gonna use exactly the same colors that Jeremy used, actually the colors that he picked. So um, I'm gonna start first off by layering a cup because then I'm gonna pour this into my dustpan and then use that on top of the canvas. So let's get to that first. Um, so let me see these colors. All right. So first in with the pearl. And some of our favorite gold. Would you like me to line them up so that way you know which colors go? No, I'm actually going to, I'm gonna kind of probably go in and out with the colors to be honest with you, but okay. thank you, yeah. This is the wonderful Prussian. Aviary blue. Which is so cool. Yeah, it's so beautiful. I love that color. Some of the pearl. Some of the... Be careful. Shimmery poo. <laughs> <laughs> Even someone in I the comments it. said shimmery poop. I know, but I know I love you it. love it. I think it's so pretty. It's probably one of my least favorite colors. Well, this was my time to pick colors. Exactly, and, and pick them you did. Lovely plane flying above. Right, it sounded very close. I know, it did sound low. I can't wait to read all the comments about these colors and, you know, and how everything has come out. Like, I mean, like what were you thinking? <laughs> I think it came out really well. I think it came out awesome. But we would love to, to get comments from you guys to let us know what you think. We'd love that. This is how much I love this color. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Just that much. You're gonna be sleeping on the couch tonight. Mm -hmm. I don't think I dare put any more paint in that pot. Uh, let's move these out of the way, of please. And then next, okay. I'm gonna flood my canvas. What I haven't thought about is how I'm gonna pour it this time. You know, like in terms of the pan, I think I might go like that I think you should. I think you should do straight lines. Like the? Right across. Oh, like two. Yeah. I don't know if I'll have enough paint for that. I think you will. Well, but I'll do one straight line, and at least if I haven't, I can like stretch it down. Yeah. So I'll start at the exactly. top. Exactly. Okay. Okay, so I just flooded the canvas. It was exactly the same base coat that Jeremy used, which was titanium white from Golden's, mixed with the Deco Art satin enamels. Um, and then we've also got our mix of Liquitex Gloss Medium and Floetrol in there too. Um, someone asked us, you know, to put the actual details of the paints in the comments and we've forgotten to do that all the way through these videos. However, we won't forget again. So if you wanna know the paints that we used, again, go check out the comments. All right, my brand new pan. So shiny. This is Donald Dustpan. I'm gonna be using Donald today. Deborah has been retired to the <laughs> cupboard for a little while. Uh, she was a little shallow, was our Deborah. Um, but this- But I don't. Thank you. Um, but this one is a little thicker, holds a little bit more paint, so I'm excited to use it. Um, so, I have a little bit, and it's going to be a really little bit of our pearl white in the bottom. Ooh, I just noticed a big clump of something oh, just that, drop that in it. That huge you see that? That was a huge paint bugger. Okay. And I'm now going to layer, sorry, pour my layered cup into my pan, 
Now, there's a number of ways you can do this. You can ring pour it, you can straight pour it, but I think I'm going to fantasy pour it. What is fantasy pour? Let me tell you, Jeremy. It's basically a mix of a straight pour and a ring pour. So alternating between the two. Wow. Now, my hand and eye coordination may not allow me to do that, but I'm gonna give it a go. Okay, so let's see how this works. I wanna do this so you can see it. Okay, so that's the straight. And there's some rings. And some more straight. And some rings. Some more straight. And some rings. Some more straight. That is a fantasy if I've ever seen one. Right? It's almost fant fantastical as the island itself. Fantasy Island. I used to love that show growing up. Oh my gosh, we'd wait and watch it. Okay, I'm gonna keep that little bit of paint that I've got left in my in my pot. Now, we're going to pour. So, I was talking to Jeremy just off camera about how we're gonna do this. You know, I've done some diagonal pours before. Um, we've done some straight lines down the middle. I'm gonna go straight across the top this time. Um, there is a little method to the madness and it's only because if I don't have enough paint then I'm going to stretch it down also. So let's see how this goes. Okay. I've got an interesting kind of line down the middle which I wasn't wow. expecting. Let me wipe this off. I am going to put the rest of the paint into the pan because I've probably got at least a good third of a cup here. So let's layer this one in. Now this time I'm just going to do a straight pour. Because I really love the idea of the two contrasting pours next to each other. and I'm going to ever so slightly overlap if I can. And this is my first time using Donald so just getting used to him the width of that lip. Okay. All right. Now Let's tilt this bad boy out a little bit. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna go just a little bit backwards because I wanna cover all the canvas on the back right-hand side. Okay. I wanna come back to myself. those layers from the top. I really love this over here. Yeah, that feathering effect. Yeah. Let me see if I can take that even further down the canvas. Someone is jamming out on that piano. Right. I mean, it's beautiful. So interesting.
It is beautiful. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I actually don't even know where it's coming from. I know. Which way are you going to come now? Back to me. I don't want to lose this feather in, but I don't. But I also want to lose some of this negative, kind Got of, it. not negative, this kind of blue space in the middle. Got it. And I'm hoping that some of this darker blue that's rolling down now will stretch out. Yeah, that will stretch out as yeah. it goes down. Now I'm not going to lose this negative space because I actually kind of like it. I don't want to lose this feather in too much, but I'm okay if it goes off a little. I still, as you can see, I still have a lot of paint on this canvas. Yeah, it's moving really well. And I love how this is opening up here. Yeah, that's my plan. But I do want to bring this blue down just a tad. Still got a fair amount of movement. Jeremy, what I'd love to do, and I'm gonna need your help, as soon as that bottom spread is kind of getting close to the corner, just give me a shout. Okay. You can shout at it's, home too. It's almost there. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I like that right there. Yeah. I didn't want to lose all of that space. Are you going to come down right here just a little bit? Yeah, but not too much because I actually kind of like the yeah. idea of keeping it a little white. So I'm going to keep a, a little bit of paint on the canvas so I can come back this way too. another idea. So I still have a little bit of paint in my canvas and I've noticed that I could probably, sorry not in my canvas, in my dustpan, I'm going to use this here on this corner. Perfect. That's a great idea. Just of quickly. course. Please, that would be awesome. Thank you. That added some really interesting. aspect to it yeah looking so good. Oh wow. That just completely changed the picture. Okay. It has I don't know what it is, but I look at it and it has that like starry night quality to it. Yeah. But I you know it's the blues and the like the golds and the lights. Not that it looks like Starry Night, but the colors of it. It's definitely a nebula kind of look. Did you call me? Nebula? Okay. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I actually love it. Um, I'm going to keep it exactly the way it is. I love this white here. Um, and normally, like, that would freak me out, but I really love it. Um, 
I, even though you probably can't see this, we do have some really beautiful layers here in this blue section. Got some buttery cells that are opening up here and then the layers down here. I'm gonna keep it exactly the way it is. Um, I'm gonna torch it real quick. I will definitely tidy up my corners because I'm sure I've missed a couple of them. And then let's take you in for a close up. Yeah, you know what I love about it? What? Is that it looks like you have purple in here. Like there's actual purple and it's and you just added blues to right. it. But that might be the avi aviary blue that's uh Yeah, that really light blue. That really light blue. Okay. Guys, thank you. Thank you, Jeremy. I love that you love it as always. Um guys, we'll take you in for a close up and uh and then you can see for yourself. All right, guys, that concludes episode 17. Episode 17, yes. can you bloody believe it? Oh my it? God, three more and it'll be 20. Oh my God, that's so crazy. That's so crazy, that's it's so exciting. Um, but uh, we got the paintings all done, they're dry. We can't wait to take you for a close up and uh, show you them. They came out amazing. Did you enjoy Just, the ribbon? Pull? I did, I wanna do it again. I really, really liked it. I thought it came out just tremendous and it's so like sparkly with the the metallics that we used and they are really pretty oh, i just think it came out great his came out spectacular honestly it really really did and <laughs> and i can't wait for you guys to see his you too. know i love your ribbon pour oh. i i said already that i would totally like have this hanging in our house anywhere any wall i love it well it is for sale so <laughs> it's a sale <laughs> grab it before we do <laughs> <laughs> I think we should let them see the dried results. Yeah, and then they I do too. Make up your own mind. I do too. Absolutely. All right, guys. Well, let's get to it and let's uh, let you see these dried results. Wowzers! Okay, I really do love this piece, Jeremy. Thank okay, you. so this is your ribbon pour. It is. It is the ribbon pour, and it came out so much better than I thought it was going to. Honestly, um, I was so nervous about doing it, but. The striations in this are, are just gorgeous. And you can see so many different lines of all the colors that came out so prominent. The, the gold golds. and yes, the metallics in this, the metallic dark brown, which everybody was a little concerned about, and especially by everyone, you. you mean me with the shimmery poop. <laughs> I get it. But it came out so good. Flip and this one for me as well, because sure. I think this one can definitely be flipped like okay. multiple ways. Yeah, let's see what it looks like this way. This one is still just a tad wet. Yeah, it's got like yeah. another day to dry. Oh my God, that I mean, that just looks amazing too. I just love this part right here with the white and the Yeah, like the middle, pearl. it's oh, so great. Good job, it. baby, I love Thanks. it. All right, Lee, this is uh, your dustpan pour, right? Was, yeah, 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 it was the dustpan pour the same time that you did, as you've just done, the mm. ribbon pour, but such a different, composition because clearly i've got more of the prussian blue coming through the bottom of it um but yeah i love this this is where i use the dustpan three times to do mm -hmm. three different you know mm -hmm. strokes as you've just seen i love this negative space with like the dark blue like just touching it through um yeah i love this it's interesting it was an interesting piece to stretch out and I love using the dustpan, and I did a fantasy pour in the dustpan, as you just saw. That's right. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I really, really enjoyed this piece. I'd love the dark blue veins on it, and the... 
I don't know, something keeps saying to me about this piece like Starry Night, not that it looks anything like Starry Night, but it's definitely those colours. Yeah. I see them all mixing in. But yeah, I really love this piece too. Yeah, me too. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please, if you haven't already, if you're new, thanks for watching. And uh, like and subscribe. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. And uh, <laughs> we will see you next episode. What was the Star Wars pew, pew, pew? Is yeah. Pew, pew, pew. No, it was the um, Lego movie. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. If you haven't seen that too, it's amazing. It is. See it. All right. Um, episode 18, we'll be back. Yes. Thank you, everyone, for watching. We'll see you real soon. Bye, guys. Bye.